The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is backtracking on revised guidelines for COVID-19 testing that were released earlier this week, causing a lot of confusion without warning or explanation. The CDC said only those who had been exposed and show symptoms should be tested. And now, another change, with CDC Director Robert Redfield saying anyone who needs a test can get one. Joining me now from Seattle is Dr. Robert Morris. He's a physician and environmental epidemiologist. Dr. Morris, clearly a lot of questions, confusion, even anger. Uh, how unusual is it for the CDC to go back and forth on something like this with these mixed messages? Uh, well, yeah, I guess you have to think about the old CDC and the new CDC because uh, historically the CDC has been uh, really a, a something of a beacon for public health in terms of providing clear guidance and a steady hand in the face of, an, of this kind of an epidemic or uh, at least uh, we've never seen anything quite like this before, but in terms of uh, what we're seeing now, one would expect them to be very steady-handed. But the political pressure on the CDC and on really every government scientist has been unprecedented and very disturbing to the scientific community to watch. So you're saying political pressure from the top down was behind these revised guidelines that critics have really called irresponsible. Well, I, you know, I, I can't say what caused it, but I can only say, looking at this from the outside, this is, this is not science that has been vetted by the kind of scientists I know are at these agencies. Um, it's just a, a very disturbing break with protocol. And are you surprised that, that when the CDC and um, the White House Coronavirus Task Force apparently made this decision. Dr. Anthony Fauci was not there because he was in surgery. I don't, I don't even fully understand the decision process because it's not science-based. It's it, there's so much politics being injected into this, and it's really uh, very destructive in terms of. Uh, public confidence and in terms of having a coordinated and effective response to the pandemic. So Dr. Morris, what are we supposed to do exactly? Do we trust the CDC or not? And what do we do in terms of testing? It's, it's clear that more testing is what we need to get the pandemic under control in the United States. And if you, if you don't know the disease is out there, you don't know where it is, you don't know who's sick, you're flying blind, and there's no way to control it. And that's the situation, uh, you know, there's the, this notion that somehow if we, the reason we have so many cases is because we're doing so much testing is just ludicrous. We need to stop worrying about the count and get the pandemic under control. Yeah, very well said there. And let me switch gears and very quickly ask you about convalescent plasma that President Trump has hailed as a breakthrough in treating COVID-19 patients. I just want to get your take on it. Do you believe this is a, a breakthrough? Well, it's a look, it's a promising therapy, but the study that was rolled out and, and touted in the press conference by the president was, it was not a clinical trial. It is not the standard method for validating a treatment, and it had significant flaws. And again, it this felt, it, there was a, the day before, the president was claiming this was a deep state conspiracy to, to uh, keep him from being elected. And I'm just floored by the notion that politics would come into play, because what this does is by prematurely saying this is a safe and effective treatment, you're making it almost impossible to do the kind of science that needs to be done because everybody's going to want this treatment. We'll have to leave it there. Dr. Robert Morris, thank you so much.